Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the read code question in combination sum 2. So you are given a collection of candidate numbers, candidates, and a target number target. And find all unique combinations in candidates where the candidate numbers sum to target. So each number in candidates may only be used once in the combination. Note that solution set must not contain duplicate combinations. So let's see the example. So you are given 10, 1, 2, 7, 6, 1, 5, and the target is 8. So we can create the um, like a um, candidate numbers sum to target is like a 1, 1, 6, 1, 2, 5, and 1, 7, 2, 6. So that's why we can we should return uh, this 4 array. Yeah, very simple question. So let me explain how to solve this question. Before I start my explanation, so let me introduce my channel. So I create a lot of videos to prepare for technical interviews. I explain all the details of all questions in the video, and you can get a code from GitHub for free. So please subscribe my channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. Thank you for your support. Okay, so let me explain with this example, 10, 1, 2, 7, 6, 1, 5, and the target is 8. I think uh, there are several ways to solve this question, um, but the easiest way to solve this question is um, uh, like uh, first of all, um, I sorted input array, so we get like uh, 1, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 10. And then um, we basically we iterate through all numbers one by one and trying to find a, a unique combination. So first of all, uh, we start uh, from index 0, so we fix i here, and then um, try to find a um, unique combination in the rest of numbers here. So in that case, uh, we can um, choose like a, so we choose one, and then uh, in the rest of range, we can choose like a, uh, we include this one or not include this one. So, and we can like include these two or not include these two. So we can do the, uh, the same thing for all numbers. And in the end, uh, we, uh, we can find a random answer, like a 1, 2, 5, and a total 8. Yeah, so that is a random answer. Um, and then uh, uh, at some point, uh, we finish all uh, like a possible combination um, when i equals 0. In, and then next, we move next. So i is now uh, index 1. And uh, try to find a um, unique combination at the rest of um, like a number, uh, from the rest of number. And then in that case, uh, we fix 1 here. So, but uh, there is a possibility that we can remake the uh, same combination, like a 1, 2, 5. But we already have one to five, so that's why uh, we sort the numbers. So actually, I wrote down the um, important two con conditions in the loop. So one is uh, if current number equal the previous number. In that case, we skip uh, that loop because uh, there is a possibility that we make the uh, same combination. So that's why we skip. And uh, actually, we have uh, another important uh, condition. So if current number is greater than target, uh, we stop iteration. Um, so let's say, so this is 9, this is 10, this is 11. And uh, if we are like uh, here, index i is now 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then pointing 9. In that case, um, so 9 is greater than 8. So in that case, we have to stop because um, we sorted input array. So rest of numbers are definitely greater than 8. So we don't have to iterate through all numbers. So that's why we stop um, the uh, looping. Yeah, so that is a uh, um, important two conditions. So I think uh, it's easy to understand the solution if you see the real program. So that's why uh, let me jump into the code. 
Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, um, I sorted the candidates. Candidates. Sort. And then um, uh, initialize the result variable with empty list. And uh, uh, we uh, we try to create uh, like a depth first search, so depth first search, and then um, passing the target number and the start point and the current combination empty, and then return result variable. So let's create a depth first search. So def uh, depth first search and the target and the start point and the combination so uh, before uh, I iterate through numbers so let's check the uh, current target so if target is less than zero in the case oops less than zero in the case just return and then uh, if target equals zero in the case we find a combination so append the current combination to result variable and uh, com e and then return so that is a, um, a base case and uh, then if not the case um, we start iteration for i in range and every time we start from like a start point and the length of um, candidate and then as I explained earlier um, there is a uh, two uh, important condition so if I is greater than start point and uh, candidates so current number equal candidates so current number equal previous number in that case um, we should um, skip this iteration so continue and uh, one more thing if candidates so current number is greater than target in the case we don't have to iterate the rest of number so just break if um, not the case um, we call the depth for depth for search again so depth for search and uh, passing uh, like a target minus candidate so target minus current number uh, and then um, we have to pass the next number so start point should be current index plus one and then uh, current combination it should be combination plus and the uh, candidates so current number i yeah so that's easy actually that's it so let me submit it yeah looks good and very efficient so time complexity of this solution should be yeah a little bit complicated um order of n log n plus k multiplied to the power of n so n log n is uh, from uh, sorting this one and uh, k is a number of valid combination and uh, so we use the depth first search and uh, in this case worst case time complexity or, uh, is like uh, 2 to the power of n uh, because uh, in for each number we have two choice like uh, include the um, current number or not include the current number and uh, we have n um, n length of uh, num uh, combina uh, candidates so in the worst case, uh, we have to choose like a uh, include, not include for all numbers. So that's why worst case is a uh, two to the power of n. So that's why uh, time complexity is like this. And the space complexity is um, order of k multiply n. So space complexity of this first uh, algorithm is O n. So n is a uh, length of input array. And uh, this is because this first algorithm uh, store the current combination and the uh, remaining candidates on the call stack which can go to the depths of n in the worst case and uh, k is a number of valid combination and uh, um, second n is a length of each combination so that's why uh, we take uh, like a larger 
uh, complexity, uh, space complexity. So that's why uh, overall complexity, task space complexity should be order of k multiply n. Yeah, and this is a little bit um, complicated. So yeah, that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave your comment.